live from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And The Last of Us, in my opinion, has jumped the shark. I, I, I don't think it was ever really there, but I think it's jumped the shark. Thank God for Nick Hoffman. Oh, my God. Thank God for Nick Hoffman. Even whether you believe in God or not, I am thankful for God for Nick Hoffman. Why? Because my hatred of this episode cannot logically in any way be called a homophobic backlash because I liked Nick. I didn't like. I love Nick Hoffman's episode. The, uh, 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 the gay romance uh, over a well, long, long time, I think the episode was called. Beautiful. Really generally beautiful. Why? It was about characters. It was about characters. It was about people in a zombie apocalypse. Now, it's about gay people in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, uh, I think I say that many times in this in this. Uh, uh uh, this review comes from my live stream last night. I actually missed out a really vital part of uh, uh, information in the live stream, which I'm going to insert into this, who were, uh, um, it, you know, into the review, because it's something that really, really totally annoyed me. I'm just like, bloody bored with it, it, essentially, which is why. And so at the right time, I'm going to you know, interject uh, uh, another interjection i guess <laughs> i guess that would be but yeah thank god that i love nick offerman's uh, uh gay romance in uh, in episode three because i thought that was just uh uh insanely well done and beautiful right that's how i would describe it it was insanely well done and beautiful why well, again it's about character it's always about character this is uh um uh, you know about uh um making the uh, uh, people who make it feel good about themselves by saying that they like gay people. Everybody likes gay people. Nobody does. Nobody dislikes gay people. Oh, God, goodness sake. Goodness. I mean, but the, the basic point is this. They're putting the, the, the uh, uh, they fill their part of this great grand fight uh, to make people accept gay people. They're completely accepted. And they justify it by saying, listen, if you're not on board with your kids learning pornography in school or, you know, learning how to insert a dildo, and that actually happens in schools, right? Have you ever seen the book Gender Queer? If you're not okay with your kid going to a drag show, if you're not okay with, uh, uh, you know, a 50-year-old man who's overweight wearing heels twerking on a float for your, your five-year-old, that means you hate gay people. No! No, like, 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 most gay people also agree with this. Like, yeah, that uh, 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 there's weird shit to deal with kids, and there's gay people, right? The thing shouldn't bloody be in, 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 conflated to be the same thing, but in their idiot bloody minds, that's exactly what's going on. So I think the show's jumped the shark. Uh, uh, was it ever there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really give a shit, right? I played the game. I like the game. It's got two more episodes go. I, I, I'm invested, basically. I'll, I'll, I'll carry on watching it. Uh, uh, hopefully, it will be bad enough I can take the piss out of or good enough I can rave about. But right now, and right now it's, cut, it's nearly bad enough I can take the piss out of. But right now, it's just painful. It's bland. It's boring, right? It's boring. You've got a show about a fungus that takes over people's toes them into zombies in a post-apocalypse world, and you made it bloody boring. Well done! Well done! Aren't you clever? Thank God for Nick Offerman. Again, I'm, I think many people say this many times a day, but thank God for Nick Offerman. Uh, 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 before we get into the view, like, share, subscribe, all those things are very good. Thank you very much for doing those things. I am very appreciative of you doing all those things. Look in the video notes, sign up to my Substack, my email newsletter, uh, my uh, what is it? Instagram. Uh, I finally got around starting posting on that yesterday. I uh, Twitter, follow me on the Twit Twats, and uh, Facebook. They're all there. Do all that stuff. But definitely subscribe, definitely like, definitely follow all those things. All those things are fantastic. Thank you very much. What is not fantastic? Last of Us handing over to me from last night. But I feel this show has jumped the shark. I don't think it was ever really there. I think it had one very good episode, right? I think the premise was good from the game. But, you know, uh, uh, the, I, can't, I can't remember the guy making it. He, like, they won't fuck idiots, basically. Like everybody else in Hollywood. And he made this just a little bit too early, right? This came out, they, this went into production during the culture war. But it ended very quickly. Let me be clear. The culture war is over. Uh, uh, David Zaslov wagging his dick in uh, um, Amazon face in, in, in regards to uh, new, new uh, Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, that's saying the culture war's over. And if you do any woke shit, people aren't interested. This is going to be one of the, the, the hangovers, I'm afraid. Uh, like, 
Uh, uh, will it make it into season two? I don't know. I don't know. But this is this is such a boring and predictable episode of tokenism, right? As opposed to episode three, which was a, I found a beautiful story, right? A genuine beautiful story. See, the difference is now is it used to be, and I said this in the short I put out, it used to be uh, a show about a people in a post-apocalyptic fungoid zombie apocalypse, right? Now it's about gay people in a post-apocalyptic uh, fungoid zombie apocalypse, right? That that's basically it's like, well, that's weird, but okay, that's a weird choice. And and the, and the reason they're doing that is to convince us it's okay to be gay. Who do you know who who says I, I, I don't want to see any gay people ever? Ah. Like I'm a Bible thumping creationist, right? Genuinely, am. And uh, uh, yeah, no. It, 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 okay, it, God. I don't think God ever commands you to like be His judge, jury, and executioner, right? Like the whole like uh, uh, um, prohibition against gay sex is essentially public gay sex is a part of a ritualistic um, magic or uh, 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 idolatry, essentially, right? Which was, I mean, that that was the, uh, 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 and you, it would only could only be when the when there is a Jewish temple standing, right? So, uh, uh, um, and because the the premise is that the, uh, uh, um, yeah, this is a real uh, aside, right? The premise is if there's a Jewish temple standing, the presence of God is so clear in the world, right? That uh, 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 it, it is clearly done as a rebellion against god rather than an act of love right that's that that's essentially it okay so uh, um it, yeah it, it i don't need to be convinced gays are okay it's very patronizing right it, it's like it, it's just stupid and it's executed poorly bella ramsey isn't nick offerman she cannot pull it, pull it off it's it, it's clumsy. It's obvious. It's boring. <clears throat> it's on the nose. It's it's a real genuine step backwards. It's tokenism over representation. I'm all for representation. Like I finally realized, I have no problem with representation. I'm interested in people I don't know. I'm interested in worlds I don't know and in lifestyles I don't know. Right? I'm interested in representation. I'm not interested in tokenism. That's disgusting. Right? This is tokenism. Uh, uh, Connor says, "Is this a uh, uh, um, conflicts or mold?" Uh, 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 um, or cornflake. I, I, I kind of like the look of the uh, 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 the mold, like especially in the titles. Uh, uh, it's very, it is very creepy, right? And I, I, I like how the mold grows into the uh, uh, Joel and Ellie in this. So I missed, I didn't do a uh, review last week because I, I just couldn't, couldn't give a shit. Basically, you know, uh, he found his brother. He's in his wonderful enclave somewhere. He can stay there, but he decides not to. And they go ahead off. I can't remember what the fuck for. I can't remember what for. Oh, to take her to the um, university to, for testing, right? And they're attacked by people and they fight them off, but he's stabbed and dying in the snow with a horse. Essentially, right? That that the, 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 most of it was just to get get. It was like plot and a, and get a clear cliffhanger. Last of Us, fine. So. Um, uh, uh, she's managed to get him bleeding to death to uh, somewhere inside, and, and he's like, look, look, I'm gonna die, go back to my brother, uh, and he's like, Mingo pushes her away, and she's like, puts a, a blanket on him and goes up, uh, uh, um, no, goes against the blanket and, and, and go, uh, is about to leave, right? And then it flashes back to several months earlier. <coughs> she's This is her life beforehand, right? She's a trainee, whatever, uh, a military school, and she has a Walkman with banana armor or something, whatever. And this girl that like, starts picking her, it turns out that her roommate was a big tough one, and uh, who would beat beat people up for her. Now, now her roommate's gone vanished. He's like, ah, now I'm gonna take you. And he's like, really? Boom! And she smashes her face in, essentially. So then he's called in by this super nice uh, uh, Captain Kwong. Uh, um... <laughs> <coughs> There's lots of racism in this episode, by the way. <coughs> so they they make it clear that Chinese people, like Asian people, and white people can't do well, right? 
uh, 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 in the post-apocalyptic fascist world. And so he's basically, listen, look, here's your choice. You either uh, uh, you know, stop pissing around and actually knuckle down, and then you can be a officer, and your life's going to be much better. Right, or you can carry on like this, and you're going to be a grunt, and you're going to be have the bad food, you're going to have the bad work, you're going to have to go out in the middle of the day. You know, you're going to have a harder life. You, you're smart. You can. Oh yeah, you're the bestest ever, Ellie. You're the bestest ever. You're smart. You could totally do whatever you want, right? Uh, um, and so he says, yeah, basically. So that night, uh, she's been acting out a lot, basically, since her roommate's gone, because she loves her clearly, and she wants to fuck her. OK, you know this right from right, like this moment over here when she looks over and the bed's gone. Uh, uh, she goes to sleep. It's raining. And then a few hours later, so somebody sneaks in and it's her roommate. And like, I haven't played The Last of Us 2, but it, it it seemed to me that Joel was replaced with a character that looked very similar to this person. Right. It, it seemed uh, uh, now I don't know, I, I but it, it's kind of setting that up to me. Uh, um uh let me just breathe again. Uh oh. Where we are. <laughs> Only if all considers a victory before the war is over and the last kind of silent. Dude, it's over. It's over. It that it it's over. Uh, 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 culture war is over, mate. Uh, uh just you, you're gonna get the, the whatever's in the, the whatever. Ammo is in the chamber. You're going to get still. But it's like the back's broken. The enemy's routed. Uh, uh, so she says, okay, so what's the name? Her stunning and brave uh, roommate, who she clearly wants to fuck, uh, um, or at least finger bang, uh, uh, is, uh, says, come out. With she says she's joined the Fireflies, the evil resistance Fireflies. Uh, uh, she says, look, come out with me for one night where we get the best night ever, right? And then they're going to move on. So they take her walk burn and they go sneaking out. They avoid the patrols and they go up here and they find a dead guy uh, uh, who drank himself to death with pills, basically committed suicide. Don't blame him, right? Totally don't blame him. Uh, uh, and then all of a sudden the floor collapses and they fall through it, right? And they take his booze, which is like the high end. This is from before they say the booze. And it's just like the perfect day and you're waiting for them to kiss and it's like, we're 10 minutes in and, we're, and, we're, and this is like 40 minutes more of this shit. Right. <laughs> oh, let's try the booze. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it, it's it. It's will. Oh, she's got a gun from the fireflies. They show it to her. It, it's just small talk. Will they? Won't they? Right. And they go running over rooftops. Yay! Run! Come to rooftop. And they uh, uh, got new power over this street now. Said so, ah. So let me take you inside the mall. They go inside. And so, well, they reconnected all the power to the mall as well. But I must say, they don't realize. Right, so look, just go through there and tell me when you're there. Right, like, well, what's going to happen? And you go, doink, and she turns on the light, and it's a ball, and it's like, whoa, <coughs> uh, greatest thing ever. This is the best day ever. Oh, it's so magical, nothing can go wrong. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It's so obvious what's going to happen, right? It, this is like I had the whole plot of this figured out by now, right? A, a, a spoiler alert, I'm going to basically say, at this point I said, oh, they're going to have a magical night, they're going to gaze into each other's eyes, they're going to kiss, and then a zombie's going to attack them uh, 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 and bite both of them. And that's going to uh, lead her to be uh, uh, the infection and where she is now, right? Uh, I, at this point, we're about 40 minutes out from that, and I, and I worked this out. It's so fucking obvious, right? So let's have the bestest night ever. And they go on their escalator, and they've been on an escalator, and they go up and down, and, and oh, they fall. And they, oh, and she's also self-conscious when she when her roommate catches her. No, oh, and you can tell it's like it's so obvious. Oh god, it's the show about gay people in the post-apocalyptic zombie uh, fungoid zombie apocalypse. Uh, uh first they go say, Oh, look, there's the lingerie store, that's only anything that's left. Oh, can you imagine you wearing that? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, I want to finger bang you. Uh, uh, and she uh, uh, just fixes her hair in the reflection because, oh, she what? It's, oh, God. I, it's like, it's just so pandering. 
uh, uh, best layer. Oh, look, we've got a, a roundabout. We're going, we've never done this before. And we'll gaze lovingly into each other's eyes. We'll drink it on the bestest night ever. Uh, look, this was not joke. Look, this is what all this thing was. Uh, it's like like piece of shit. It really was a piece of I mean, at least the Nick Offerman episode, which I thought was excellent, told a story. This is like a boring, predictable fuck off story. Oh, that everybody's lived through. First kiss. Oh. And zombie so apocalypse. So then they go and they uh, go to a, a photo machine and they take pictures of yeah. Oh, so much fun. Girls being girls. Yeah. Oh, I feel so close to you. Uh, 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 and then and they go to the arcade, and you're like, "Well, they got Mortal Kombat, right?" And they uh, um, they've, they've all seen the post; they never played it. So uh, uh, yeah, they play Mortal Kombat, blah 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 blah, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, they play Mortal Kombat, and uh, um, but then way off, oh, over in the mall. Over in the uh, American Girl doll store, there is a zombie, and he wakes up. He hears him. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, and then they basically forget about it for a bit. They go, so let's go to the next surprise. And they say, oh, is it Tacos? No, that's not around anymore. This is where she's been sleeping, and they, she's got another book of these uh, puns. She likes these pun books, right? Uh, look, I'm, here's the thing with Bella Ramsey. She was the right girl to cast for the Game of Thrones role. You wanted a little kid who could be like a hard ass. But Ella is supposed to be sweet. There's nothing sweet about her, right? And she's also supposed to be fe feminine, right? She's she's aggressively non-feminine, right? And, and I'm sorry, like, uh, oh man. I mean, I, I'm hoping she's not like taking puberty blockers or something, binding her chest, because I can imagine them doing that these days. Right, and so he said, "Oh, they say so they have these more well, these uh, pun books." And then she finds bombs that she's looking after. He's like, "Oh, you're kidding our soldiers! Oh, I'm gonna go and leave you." And she leaves. Oh, and they get the angry. He says, "But no, this is my last night. They're shipping me off to Atlanta. Oh, it's our last night to make sweet, passionate love." Uh, 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 but she walks away. Oh, walks away, and they says, "No, I'm gonna go back. Go back." Is there something gonna be? And she hears a scream. Ah, runs after her, and it's just a machine. A, a, a uh, uh, um, a what's the name machine? They go, Rah! it was um, costume party thing, right? Rah! And she says, oh, I thought you'd love this. I saved this for last. Is that a Judge Death helmet over there? Oh, come back. That's totally Judge Death. Yeah, that is Judge Death. Best bit of this episode. Okay, so here's the point. It's around here. I can't remember where. Where we just get into oh, idiot critical race theory uh, uh, again. Uh, it's so stupid, right? Uh, uh, so why did uh, um, Ella's uh, uh, stunning and brave uh, lesbian love run away? Uh, we find out in this moment of the of the episode. Why did she run away? Because she was given latrine duty by the Asian person in, in charge. She said, no, you could, you could work hard. You could become, you know, an officer. You could do all that. She said, well, you, you could do it and the Asian person, but I can't. Why? Because everybody hates black people. That's basically Basically, the idiot, idiot answer. Look, look, in a zombie apocalypse, nobody has bloody time to be racist. Nobody has bloody time to be trans, for God's sake. Oh, God. Which I believe will probably be coming at some point. Just know, these are signs of a uh, uh, incredibly affluent society where you have everything you need, right? None of that stuff is real. Oh, God. So, yeah, yeah. So why why'd she run away? Oh, because racism. Racism is bad. Oh, we better hang ahead and save for the racism. Okay, let's go back to the bloody review. Oh, will they, won't they? What about the zombie? Oh, they talk. Oh, uh, uh, and she wants to come with her. I said, no, we got one more fun thing to do. And she puts some music on the sound system and they dance. They dance together like young free spirits they are. Yeah. Oh, yes, we're just clean. We're just normal, young, innocent people dancing together. Oh, they take off the bars. Oh, look into each other's eyes. It's going to happen. Oh, oh, and her lesbian awakening away. Smooch. And look how uncomfortable she looks, right? It doesn't look genuine, right? It doesn't look like none of neither of them look like they're enjoying that. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 they, oh. Oh, yay, we're gays together. We're the bestest protected sexuality ever. 
but now a zombie's coming. Now they come out to each other. Oh no, bam, bam, bam. She shoots, but the zombie's going to attack. I do like it. I like all the fungus bit. It's so fucking obvious. Oh no. And she managed to uh, knife it in the head, right? Uh, 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 finally, yay. But then she's bitten. No, I might have been bitten too. And she flashes back to present. Uh, and he's dying. Oh. So then she slides. I'm, I'm going to start looking around for stuff. And they decide, look, we could just end it or we could uh, just stay together as long as we can, right? Well, I, and that's what they do. And I, obviously she doesn't become a zombie and her friend does. Uh, uh, meanwhile, she finds a needle and thread. Yay. And now she's going to sew up Joel. And he's going to that's like with her friend, she's going to stay with him as long as she can. <coughs> it's just, for fuck's sake, really? Just stop with the weirdo shit all the in time. So, okay, nobody says there's a problem with being gay, but there is saying a problem with telling kids it's only okay to be gay. Stop with this shit already. So I'm like, fuck off. It's basically where I am with the show. Fuck off. You know, uh, uh, enough already, right? I, I, fuck off. G genuinely. Uh, uh, and, uh, so freaking bored of all of it. Right? It's so obvious. It's so done. It's so dull. I mean, that's really the bottom. It's just so freaking dull. My name's Sheila Beck, and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.